Oh, oh, are we live? Oh, we're up. Yo. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? We got Z-Fly and Ghost Gaming Ribs on the mic. How's it going, Ribs? How you doing, boss? Uh, you know, it's just another day in paradise here at Wednesday Night Fights. And we're lucky enough to get on the mic right when we have Exax and K9, you know, entering into winner's semis. The only reason I'm on the mic is because they're playing. <laughs> Let's see. So these two have been. If, if uh, you don't, not sure of the history between these two players. These players have known each other for a few years now. Oh, almost since like feels like the beginning of Smash. Yeah, I think they knew each other since Brawl days. So that goes way back. Yeah, there's a ton of history between these two players. I'm curious what their record is in this game, but um, either way. I haven't watched either of them play in a, in a little bit, so I'm excited to see how this turns out. You know, obviously with a slight lead, and there goes that. I mean, throughout the tournament, we have been seeing K9 play a lot more cheap. He says using it for a specific matchup, but that just the, the matchups he's bringing it out for uh, slowly seem to be increasing. But now that we're here in Winter Semi, he's bringing out the Wolf, you know. This is a character that's given him uh, a lot of results. So it makes sense that he would bring out, you know, his, his strongest gun, his biggest gun. Yeah, at the same time, x doing a pretty good job right now, keeping a slight percent lead. But Wolf right now can probably probably kill with a decent Never mind. Nice up smash. And that was a read. That was kind of just like option cover. Just throw that out, anti-air. Good job from x utilizing that move. We've seen that's that's been one of the best inkling moves nowadays. Just like the up smash out of shield. You see Cosmos throw it out all the time. Harry into up smash. And let's see if uh, x gets some extra credit. <laughs> nope, just a down smash, a quick claw, a slash, and you're gone. Who's on the other side of Winter Summer? So um, I believe it's Nitro. Okay, yeah, we just saw Nitro. We just saw Nitro the, one. Uh, man, yeah. And um, YMCA. Okay. Who did he use? I think he was warming up against DK. Him. DK, yeah, yeah. I was playing against him and Taminator earlier. Plenty of Bowser and DK. And I'm a Ness player, so yeah, it actually worked out pretty well. <laughs> I was supposed to be warming up for the bracket, but you know what happened. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't enter properly or something, so now yeah. on the... Human you know, error, for sure. It happens. But, yeah, exactly. Already sitting at 100%. I mean, I think we're like one good combo away from, from Exax losing the stock. Or one good hit away from Exax. And then a good conversion. K9 can do this as well. Ooh, and there it is. That roller on the shield. You got to be careful with that. I thought he might survive that. And that looked like proper DI. Very nice. Up smash out of shield. Punishing the roller. And yeah, that was anyone's game. That came down to the wire. And that, that roller. I feel like he could have jumped out of the roller if he buffered it, but I, I I think he was too confident that it was going to hit. I mean, even if he did jump, I feel like the F or the up smash still would have caught. Maybe, yeah. Like as soon as he went for roller and he committed to roller, it was the game was over one way or another. And yeah, we were talking about Inkling's up smash, but yeah, Wolf's up smash is definitely privileged. <laughs> that little scoop it does on both sides. Very good up smash. We're gonna talk about privilege. We have up air, up air. That's that's pretty privilege if I do say so myself. <laughs> throw combos and ultimate, yeah. Throw combos with true combos that can true combo after throws, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I do like the setups that Exax is going for at the ledge. You know, he's being very liberal with the splat bomb, making sure that it's always out whenever K9 uh, is recovering horizontally in case he wants to opt for a wolf flash. Very nice drop down back here into the down smash there as well. That was like a max range down smash, and when you see it now coming out of Wolf. And every time that x takes a stock, it seems like Kanon is there to answer back immediately, and that's, that's really important in these high level matchups. If you can get that extra credit and just get a little bit of a lead, that goes a long way. And vice versa, if you get to, you get to stun it right there, don't let them get the lead, you stay right in the match, and that's what Kanon has been doing so well. Yeah, definitely keeping himself in the game, keeping the the, the score a lot closer. Drop down back here on a dash tech going to whiff. Kanon's going for a lot of like soft hit nairs to try and just convert off of. Kanon's reaction time is so good that as soon as he sees that it clips, he knows exactly where the, his opponent's going to be going and how to follow up. Yeah. And it's such a non-committal option, really, that nair. There goes the reacting time. Reacting to the get-up attack. Unsafe option there from Inkling. Down smash out of shield. 
K9 now with a lead, and this is a surmountable lead here. He should be able to get some extra credit, but we'll see how x Fact responds. Oh, Optimus to approach through the platform. Very smart, but K9 wise to it, and now attacking on 35% for that punish. Yeah, that was just patience from K9. He stood in shield. He's like, hey, Inkling, do whatever you want. Sooner or later, you're going to hit my shield. Oh, good ledge trap, of course, setting up the splat bomb. K9 was forced to get, use a get-up option because uh, his invincibility did run out. And oh! <laughs> He's okay, time being. Gets his stage control back, and now x needs to do something now if he wants to bring this game back. Goes for a dash dance, gets back air for it, and now K9. Should be a safe forward smash, and it is. And they are now into up smash, not gonna kill, but K9 now running away, full stock advantage. Mm -hmm. Oh, spot dodging the grab. You know, that's that's the smash ultimate right there. The, you know, laggy move into spot dodge, to punish. You did forward smash though, and that yeah. thing is not laggy at no, all. No, it's that not, but it looks laggy. Yeah. It looks like you can punish it. I compare it to Meta Knight's forward smash. It's like so strong, kind of has a, a good start up, but then it's lagless after. Now K9 can easily end this set right now, unless it's a best of five. It is the best of five. Okay. K9 definitely threatening to, to go up 2-0 here. Even if XX takes his stock, which he won't, k is going to go up 2-0 now, and let's see XX. Probably gonna stay inkling. Let's see his adaptation here. I think he isn't like solo inkling at this point. He did at one point have Wolf under his belt, um, but the more he played inkling, the less he liked Wolf. So I think he's just solo inkling right now. He told me earlier he wants to pick up other characters, but he just doesn't have enough fun. And I feel that. I'm, I'm a Ness main, and I, I told myself coming into this game I wouldn't only use Ness. He's just so much fun. And then I want to use Lucina and Palu, better characters, but then I get bored. <laughs> and I think x is having the same problem. <laughs> you definitely get to push a lot more buttons as Ness. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jump and cancel slide magnet. That's all I want to say. Yeah, okay, game three, and of course, game three going right back to Smashville. Good rapid jab. He's going to put a lot of ink onto K9. And a great back air that has such little uh, little landing lag. But enough hit stun so you can convert off it. And just that's an ink double. What do you think about the color, the, the, uh, the color counterfeit? Uh, do, you, do you believe in the, the, the color counterfeit? I think it's definitely, it adds some type of reset, especially with characters that have a bigger appearance difference, like Inkling. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it changes like the character model and everything. Right? Yeah, whereas like, you know, Marth doesn't really change at all. <laughs> that was dope. That was really Nair dope. To, Nair to Wolf Flash? Is that what that was? Yeah, and he got the sweet spot, and I don't think you're able to check the, the ground there either. So K9 is on point. That was a beautiful conversion, but as I say that, he has to... You uh, scared him, you know? Yeah. I want to say he's on point because he gets a dope conversion, and then he does that ugly <laughs> air dodge off stage. But nonetheless, he is up 2-0, and this is his set to win. But I think X-Ax is going to take a game here. I want to see the comeback. He got the yellow, the yellow inkling. I think he's like Agent 9 or something like that. Yeah, he, he has a name. Do they, do they how I have names? Yeah. Oh. I didn't know it has yellow inkling. <laughs> This one's popular though, she's cool. She's cool looking. Yeah, I like when Exact uses the blue one, you know, not too many players use the, the blue inkling. Because he's, like, he's like NorCal Vans wearing like Beach Kid. Yeah, he's hipster right yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that back air is so strong. Another get up attack though, and I, I just don't I just don't agree. Get up attack's one of those moves you use, um it's almost it's not more, more of a read, it's more of a reaction. Someone charging a smash attack, just get up attack. But twice now, we see an X-Act do it and get punished for it. But at the same time, great down smash by the ledge. Last stock situation. And anyone's game, once again, x -Act, nice up throw up air. Oh, getting to the air dodge, x -Act was definitely expecting to get a lot more than just one up air from that up throw. I like that. Both players retreating to neutral. x -Act dash dancing around, and K9 just opting to use the gun. You know, true like that the, the percents are very close at this point. You know, we have we do see K9 slowly slipping away with the lead. But at the same point, he doesn't need to approach. Wow. Nice ledge guard there. He, he went for two rising nares. And if you don't know what makes Wolf Nair so good is the hitbox under him. 